How's it going ladies and gentlemen? In this video we take a look at new changes and features in iOS 13 Beta 6. In iOS 13 Beta 6 you can hide link previews, which appear when you long press. See, here's a link preview right here. You can hide those just by using the context menu at the bottom. So just tap hide link previews and now it'll just show the URL instead of the full preview. Another subtle change you'll notice in beta 6 of iOS 13 is that the dark mode toggle has been renamed. Now it says dark off and dark on instead of light and dark. So you just tap it like that to invoke dark mode. But that's not all for dark mode in beta 6. If you go to settings, control center, and customize controls, you'll see a new dark appearance toggle. So this allows you to control dark mode directly from the control center, the main page of control center without having to go into the brightness settings. You see that toggle there? You just tap it, it invokes dark mode, tap it again, goes back to light mode, just like that. And you can toggle dark mode from Siri, just say, turn off dark mode, and dark mode turns off. Or you can say, turn on dark mode and dark mode turns on. And in beta six, adjusting the volume goes back to how it used to be instead of 30 plus different increments. Now there's just 16 increments when changing volume in iOS 13 beta six. And another great thing about beta six is that you can now adjust your flashlight in one motion, just like you used to be able to do. On previous betas, it would not allow you to continue your gesture in one motion. You actually had to do two gestures. And in the previous beta, the LTE icon got supersized, but now in beta six, it's back to normal size. And in this latest beta, you get a much more saturated folder background on the home screen. I know the word folder is weird, but as you can see here, it definitely takes on the properties of your background of your wallpaper in a more pronounced way. And you get a new splash screen for the photos app telling you what's new. You also get a new splash screen for the app store app telling you what's new. In the music app, if you have library syncing disabled, it'll tell you via a notification at the top of the library tab, you can tap that to turn library syncing on without having to visit the settings app at all. So that saves you a little bit of time and that'll sync your library just like it's doing right now. And in just a second, it'll be complete and you'll have all your music from the iCloud music library. So there we go. At WWDC, Apple announced that you would be able to access local radio stations directly from the music app. So if you search for a radio station, you may just find one in your local area. You can play it from iHeartRadio right there within the music app. And as you can see, it is live. So that is really nice. That's a really cool feature. And it's seamlessly integrated within the music app. Now in iOS 13, if you triple tap a single time like that, it brings up the little copy and paste menu there when editing text. That's normal, right? But in beta six, there appears to be a bug that allows you to triple tap anywhere, not just in the text field. Obviously that is not useful here on the home screen. And a little bonus feature in the latest watchOS six beta, you get a nice looking red heart icon for the heart rate monitor. So ladies and gentlemen, that has been a look at new changes and features for iOS 13 beta six. What's your favorite new feature? Let me know down below in the comments. This is Jeff with nine to five Mac.